I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. Football back at Optus Stadium. I'm paired in the box here today with Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hudo. Should be a great game today. Today's match between Fremantle and Frenchman. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. See us with a grin, risking head and skin, and we're behind the man and man with fighting. It's a big day for the Tigers, Cruz. If they can get on top of the three man with defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Fremantle kicking to the left of screen. What an exciting season we've had so far. Could there be one more twist in the tail as we enter the final round of the season? We've seen some great finishes to the season. What will today throw up? Come into this game with really good form. We're just moments away from the opening bounce. And here we go. It's Fremantle taking on Richmond. Receives the handball and takes off. Opportunity for Martin. Heads it inside 50. He drives it towards goal. Looking to bring it back into play. Wilson dismisses his opponent with disdain. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Akers elects to kick. Finds this one all by himself. Matir decides to play on. Simply outplayed his opponent. Bart lines up from long range. Opportunity to take the lead. That ball comes off the post. Scores a level. Lost out, looking for options now. On. Moves it by foot. Caddy does well to mark. It's a long kick. Finds himself in space and marks. Lambert drives a low kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Getting in the way was... Rioli didn't get away from that tackle. Great tackling technique. Conker just threw it, takes it well. Looks up with a kick. Shaw couldn't snaffle it, well collected. Going for goal number one. Reba drives it home from a long way out. Look at them celebrate that effort. He's kicked the first goal. Back in the middle now. One down, taken by Conker. And now we'll have a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. Blakely just too high with the tackle. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Mundy heads long with that kick. Just through the ball. Kick by Collier. The mark has been taken. Going for goal number one. McCarthy over the goal on the move. And it's a behind. Fremantle get it back to under a goal. Unsure of their next move. Takes a nice mark. 
Garthwaite has resources out wide. Rand tops the play on. Just gave it away. Chips it towards half forward. The ball is kept in. Cox turns a free kick. Going for goal number one. The Dockers produce the margin. Flosto to bring it in. Plays onto himself. Moves the ball by foot. Ball spills. Walters slams it onto the boot. Flosto was taken high in the tackle. Looks to move it by foot. Garthway marks uncontested. Takes possession. Over the top of the pack. Works it across the ground. Applies a bump. Hamling dug out the loose ball. The umpire calls for a stoppage. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Slips the tackle. He'll get the free kick. Five coming on. A chance to put one through for his side. 15 metres out. Lynch slots the goal. <laughs> Celebrating hard. That's two in a row for Richmond. Now they lead by ten. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. We're back in motion. Hammers it. With the ball now. Darcy just threw it. Goes by foot. Charges with intent. Lute has a chance to put a second goal on the ball. He runs it over the line. McCarthy runs onto the field. Ball tossed back in. Won the hit out. Mops up the loose ball. Gathers it now. Goes by hand. Darcy turns the ball over by hand. Couldn't take it. Picking it up was Hogan. Handball's under pressure. Broad gets in the way. With quick hands. He wins possession. Take you off of it. Slapped away. Garthway creatively finds a way past. Pushes through with power. Takes the mark all by himself. Higgins going for number one. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Asprey going for number one. Hits the post, and it's a minor. 11 points the difference. Hamling unsure of the next move. Collier gets on the end of this. He drives it. Easily takes the mark. Richmond just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Lambert just goes bang. Movement by hand. Hacking it out of there. Castagna found a way to mark that one. Richmond would love to make the most of this opportunity. Uses it now. Taking a nice grab. Hughes has resources out wide. Stands tall and marks. Caddy searches for the team. Gary, your thoughts on the first quarter? Richmond have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Let's see what the stats have to show. Richmond again. We're ready for second quarter action. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Big thump from Nan Curvis. He's got the football now. Collects the loose ball. Putting his skills on display. He gets his hands on the footy. Collier will be the recipient of the free. 
elects to kick. Asprey gathers it now. A lot of possessions for him. Does well to come off the kick. Goes the long option. A chance to gather the ball. Lambert couldn't stick the tackle. Hurley had it, lost it. Well closed in on Matera. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. A strong pack mark. Keeps the kick low. Lambert leaps over the top. Puts it on the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Keeps moving. Ball off hands. Mundy short by hand. Hughes scoops it up. Dug out the loose ball. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Edwards now heading off to the bench for a break. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gabs? It's a really entertaining game of football. Law goes for territory. The ball mopped up. He gains possession. He goes for broke. Bolton sends the drop pan on its way for another goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. Richmond have three in a row. 17 points the difference. Back in the middle now. Soldo thumps it forward. Made the tricky bounce look easy. With the ball now. At full stride, receives the handball. Hill gives it off, and now they go. Banfield goes for home. They are happy with that effort. He's excited about that one. Fremantle now only trailed by 11. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Richmond are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty of opportunities. Punches the kick. Wilson gives away a free for in the back. Castagna has resources out wide. Graham contests the hard ball. Put his body on the line. Kept his head and kicked the goal. No doubt about it. Martin couldn't be happier with that goal. Richmond doing well at the moment. Thumps it clear. Soldo got him. Big tackle. Dishes it off. Just manages to release the kick. Castagna on the ball. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Richmond starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 32 to 9. Martin there to mop up. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. It's a foot race to get this one. Gets the handball away. Well taken at ground level. Doesn't connect with the kick. And it'll be coming back. Uses it by foot. Blakely takes the mark and contested. Blakely tucks it into the pocket. Marking in space with Ryan. Puts boot to ball. The ball ends up with Darcy. Richmond haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Wilson doesn't take the mark. Goes short by hand. Hill rushes with the kick. Picked up by Broad. Soldo collects the loose ball. He flicks it over. Ball is touched. And just a mighty score. Richmond could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Uses the hands instead of the body and it's a free kick. Winds up and goes long. McIntosh takes a strong mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Just landed in his back. Hogan puts it on the boot. Spent that one before he earned it. Picks up the loose ball. Graham drives the kick. Goes off the ground. They can create from this. There's a man running for it. Drop punt through the goal. Edwards kicks his first. Celebrating hard. 
The Tigers, 38. Like Fremantle, 10. Soldo clears the contest. He gets his hands on the footy. McIntosh got the hands free. Kicks hurriedly. Well picked up. Tries to release the pressure. Has a man running for him. Ends up with Hill. Akers just gets it onto the boot. The loose ball picked up. Broad lobs the handball. Graham finds possession. Elects to kick it long. An easy grab for Higgins. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Gets his first. They stretch their lead with that effort. He's enjoying that goal. That's a really good team, though. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. The loose ball picked up. Wilson with quick hands. Kolya, a streaming pass and gets the footy. Ball hits the deck. He decides to go for home. Just a moment. Unable to take that opportunity. Fremantle now only trailed by 33. Richmond have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Got boot to ball. The mark is taken by Flostow. Chose to kick it. Caddy gets on the end of this. Looks to move it by foot. Good mark there. He's got the footy in his hands. Rand kicks it. McIntosh couldn't keep his hands on it. Gets it away. Conker gets the ball. Marks that ball uncontested. A must-kick goal here. That was sweet. They put through another. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Right when they needed it most. Chera getting the crowd involved. He did really well there and gets the reward. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Fremantle for allowing the opposition. The siren sounds and that's the end of the term. The scores, Richmond 44 to Fremantle 17. Richmond have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Richmond have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Thank you, Gaz. Halfway through this match and plenty more footy to come in the second half. The third quarter has begun. About to resume play. Nan Curvis with the punch. He has the ball. Revo hacking it out of there. Dug out the loose ball. Looking to kick goal number two. The kick connects with the post. Now they lead by 28. Ready to bring it back into play. Hamling plays on. Going for distance with the kick. Finds a bit of room to mark. Puts boot to ball. Hughes got under it. Channels a long kick. Hill takes the mark. Got boot to ball. Found space for an easy mark. Stepped off his line. Intercepts the ball well. The Tigers are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. They get around him after that effort. The lead is now 34. We're back in the middle to resume play. Nan Curvis just swats it away. Ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Martin suckers it forward. They can create from this. Walters has resources out wide. Wants to keep moving. 
Takes that one strongly. Richmond just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Caddy leads all comers on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of him. Caddy couldn't dispose of it properly. Outstanding pressure. Collier takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. Rand goes with the kick. Nice hands. Decides to kick. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Tips it towards half forward. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball up. Matera goes off the ground. Goes off the deck and through. Fox getting his first with that kick. Gets him a reward for his efforts. Fremantle close the gap to 28. About to resume hostilities. Nan Curvis with the hit. Goes with the kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Edwards kicks inside the 50. Wilson drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Gathers it now. Wins the race to the ball. McIntosh gets the handball away. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Congratulated by his teammates. The margin is 34. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Richmond are getting the opposition on turnover. They are working hard without the ball and putting on the pressure to win it back. Offhands from Wilson. Bolton landed in his back on this occasion. Blakely with a penetrating handball. Slips the handball to Brian. Conker just put it on the boot, just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Flostone moves it now, takes a simple grab. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Edwards. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game. It works the right time. Fremantle behind by 33. Players move as they look to provide an option. Doing well to intercept that kick. Chera urged on by the crowd. Prepares the kick. If they kick this, they give themselves a chance. Look at them celebrate that effort. Fremantle produced the margin. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Richmond have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the corners. Hill wins it back, receives the handball and takes off. Open opportunity for Higgins. to resume play. Winning it was Nant Curvis. Licks with hands. It's cut off by Caddy. Intercepted by Hill. Snaffled up by Broad. Broad earns a free kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Flostone landed in his back on this occasion. With a driving kick. Great mark. 50 metres out. Mundy going for number one. It's a huge kick, and it goes all the way. A much-needed goal for Fremantle. He celebrates hard after that. Fremantle close the gap to 27. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Manufactures the handball. 20 metres from home. 
Kostanyak. Going for number two. He loved that one. Richmond fleet Fremantle, 69 to 36. Nan Curvis gets onto the ball. Doing well was Akers. Ball up call. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. The umpire will ball it up. Richmond are in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. He intercepts the ball well. Edwards uses the body well. Uses it now. Open opportunity for rebound. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Well, the end of the quarter is in sight now. Van Curve has got a fist to it. Moves it by foot, takes the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the book. Fremantle trailing by 33. The Tigers fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. Richmond are controlling the possession and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Thanks for that. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Punches are clear. He's got the football now. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Guided down nicely by Claude. A chance for Nan Curvis. Martin moves it by hand. Lambert hurried kick. Ryan read it best. Handballs to no one in particular. Hulik missed an opportunity to mark. Makes it somebody else's ball. Gathered by Mike. The loose ball scooped up. Penetrating handball. Hamlin wins the ball in the air. Looks up with a kick. Takes the mark. Walters sends one up towards the wing. The Tigers haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Great mark under pressure. Moves the ball by foot. Finds a target. Demand keeps it moving. Ryan rushes up the tackle. They can link up now. Off hands, putting on the pressure was Hooley. Great attack on the ball carry. Hits him hard. Rioli hacking it out of there. Decides to keep it alive. Hughes puts it to his advantage. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Walters coming onto the ground. Ball over the line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This game needs a spark at the moment. Rushes with the kick. The ball mopped up. Really hasn't seen much of the footy. He takes it across the line. Thrown in now. Darcy thrashes it. A clean collect with quick hands. He takes the shot. The kick ends up hitting the post. Can't make the most of that chance. The Dockers produce the margin. Richmond have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Asprey kicks it long. Walters didn't mark it. Lambert just handballs into space. Taken well at ground level by Garthwaite. Hands that ball to the opposition. Tabernacle doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. He takes the mark. Rance spears the ball. Asprey looks to get onto the football. Short rushes with the kick. Stands tall and marks. The kick from McIntosh. Good mark there. Richmond have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Blakely puts on a bump. Is in his possession. Mundy having a big game. He's setting the example at the moment. Marks now and can send it back. Rant uses it by foot. 
Edwards gains possession. Showing some really good pressure there. Got hands to it. Picked off the deck. Mops up the loose ball. Dug it out. Flicks with hands. Has it now. It's a turnover. The handball now from Banfield. Just gets it onto the boot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. The ball spills in the tackle. The ball spills to Cox. Goes short by hand. Kicks hurriedly. An easy grab for Graham. Decides to play on. Walters cuts it off. Sweeping handball from Banfield. Cherrick moves it by hand. And now they're away. Just puts it out in front. He can take off after that handball. Ends up turning this ball over. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Gets a hand in. A good job keeping it in play there. Flostone sends one up towards the wing. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Graham with a shorthand pass. Drives it out of the pack. Couldn't snaffle it. Gets a handball away. Takes possession. Revo kicks hurriedly. Wilson looks to work it from the turnover. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Uses it by foot. A solid mark for Hughes. Just sends it into space. He gives it a ride. Richmond, Kovic the Dockers by 33. The mark has been taken. Demand kicks it. Hamling takes the mark, uncontested. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. 50 metres from home. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Found a way through. Tries to release the pressure. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Shaw goes with the kick. The game never reached any great heights. And it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? Just a fantastic performance from Richmond. They really put in the hard yards and they can enjoy the results. Much appreciated, Gaz. The final score of the match is Richmond 70, the Dockers 37. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. We'll see you all late. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time. Skin. If we're behind, then never mind. We'll fight and fight and win. Oh, we're from.